Hi, and welcome back to Reflections of You, where we create cards to spread joy to others. Today, I thought, why not make another funny card to just send and spread joy to people? I am using Unity Stamps That Sucks stamp set. And I plan on using, some people might say, a little work never hurt anyone, but I say, why risk it? Everyone doesn't like housework, but if you do, let me know in the comments below. Um, but we're going to use this and make a fancy fold card just for fun. So for my fancy fold card, I am going to show you this is eight and a half. By five and a half. I have scored it at two and one eighth and four and one fourth. So when it folds over, it is a A2 size card, but we have scored this to fold it back for a flap. All right, next I want to talk about paper. I am just going to use any paper you want uh, for your card. I decided since this has polka dots on the vacuum cleaner, I am going to use polka dotted paper that I got from that paper pack. And I decided to pull the blue to make the back of the card stock. So that's how you can do. If you wanted a red vacuum cleaner, you'd pull the red paper or a green. I kind of want it to look teal and vintage. So I'm going to cut this six by six paper down to three and a half by four and three fourths. And how I'm going to do that quickly is I'm going to use my Tim Holtz trimmer. When cutting this cardstock, because it has this little hole, I want to cut this off. So I'm going to put this in the longest way and do four and three fourths. And what I love about this trimmer is that there are lines here for every one fourth of an inch. So I know this is four and one fourth, which is common for a card. And I can just move this over two more blocks for the four and three fourths. Then I can turn the paper and I can cut it at three and a half. And I have my pattern paper cut with my trimmer. And this is my Tim Holtz trimmer. I am going to set these to the side and I am going, I have also cut a white sheet of cardstock at three and a half by four and three fourths. And I'm going to set this aside. Next, I've got out another piece of cardstock and I want to stamp my vacuum cleaner down. So these are foam cling stamps and they do come apart very easily. You can use them in the misty or use them on a stamping block. Today, I am going to use it on a stamping block. And my stamping block is not as large as my stamp. So this is another tip. I'm going to category, catty corner the stamp. Next, I have a very small pad that I use when stamping without the misty. And I'm going to put my cardstock in here. And I want to get out my Memento Black ink because I plan on stamping, on coloring this with Copic markers. So for the category, I mean, cata corner stamp, I'll just stamp this up really good. And then I will rotate the stamp and I'm going to put it on the edge of this paper. Now I'll press it down good and there we have our vacuum cleaner. Now, the next thing I want to do is 
I want to use the stamp saying. So I'm going to use the stamp saying that says, some people might say a little work never hurt. And I'm going to put that next to the vacuum cleaner. And there we go. Now, to straighten this up for my card, I'm going to put it in my cutter. And I am going to put it in here so I can cut this off, but I'm going to angle it a bit. All right. Then I'm going to come here and cut this off at an angle. Cut this, and I don't have any specific um, I don't have any specific, you know, shape I'm going for here. I just, my goal is to put this in the corner. And it's fine if, to me if it has that little shape. If you don't like that, you can trim it off. I'm always making a mess in this craft room, knocking something over. All right. Or you can use a die cut to cut it out. All right, again, I want to pull from this color. I don't have something exact with Copic markers, but I do have BG49, which is pretty close. And I'm going to color this in. And I just want that one color. Again, you can choose whatever, but I just think that this is going to pull out not only my card stock, but the blue in the card. Plus I think it looks rather vintage and I love vintage things, especially from the 1950s. Um, I have just fallen in love with that style. So we will just color this and it's just simple coloring. You don't have to be fancy. It's a vacuum cleaner. And uh, I would like to make this in mass production and send to lots of people. But the great thing is I can use lots of different colored papers and make it different ways. Next, for the vacuum, I'm going to use a gray. And I have decided to use C4. So I want to color this gray and then just let the black highlights be there for the vacuum cleaner. And I just think this is going to be so funny when the recipients get it. Because most of the people I know don't care for housework, but we all have to do it. And you might as well have uh, fun and make somebody laugh. All right. So we got that colored up. It's just a quick color. And I think I might take the handle and just make that teal just to add a little spunk to it. And I'm going to use, let's see, W5. And I want to just make this a little bit darker along this edge. So there we go. Maybe add a little highlights. You can do that too if you want. It has some highlights in there, but just make it a little darker. All right, now next, we're going to put in our cardstock in the inside. And how I'm going to do this is again, I'm going to get out my little pad and I'm going to get the saying that completes this. And it says, but I say, why risk it? And I think this is going to be adorable. I'll just put it down on my stamp. And turn that around. You didn't have to. I could have turned the stamp around, but I like this. Then I can write a little note to the recipient. So that makes it really quick. 
Next, we want to put this down, but before we adhere it, I just want to line this up to see how that looks. That looks good. So we'll adhere this down to our card base. And I'm just using Gina Connect glue to make that connection. We'll turn this over and we'll put it in our card. And I think that's really nice because this kind of sets it off um, for your card stock. Next, I'm going to fold this over and I want to line this up so it covers that white card here. See how that's lined up? So I'll just turn this like this and I'm just going to put some glue right down the middle here. And the great thing with the Gina Connect glue is it really holds and lets you wiggle. So we'll wiggle this into place. So that's already a fun card. You could even just put a sentiment on it. So next, I'm going to put my vacuum cleaner and I think I'm going to put him in the center. Yeah, I like him in the center. And I love how he picks up those colors. So then I'll just put some glue on him. Flip him over and put him on here. And I got a little glue up here, but I'm not going to fuss or worry about that because I have an eraser for adhesive and that just took the glue right off so I really love how this turned out it says some people might say a little work never hurt anyone but why risk it and when the recipient opens the card it looks like this it'll look like this when they stand it up um, so they can read the whole thing if you like this give it a thumbs up consider subscribing and I'll see you next time